Hawaii. So there's a lot of things that we can all learn from this. Uh, for me, the reason why I got back into agriculture was for food. Why? Because I like to eat. <laughs> and I realized that I was paying $9 a pound for poi in the storm. So I started trying to seek out new ways of doing agriculture, finding out ways that, to survive here in Hawaii. Because I graduated from Kamehameha class of 88. This year I made 40 years old. Find out one third of my, my classmates all live in the mainland. Can't afford to live here in Hawaii. But they all would love to come here and be here. So I take this knowledge and I've been sharing with, with, with some of them in the mainland saying, look, look what we can do here with all of these new things that we're learning. Actually, this aquaponic system is nothing new. If you really think about it, God already did it. It's just now we're relearning and how, learning how to think. Placing ourselves a little bit in a place of what they call uh, uh, chaos. I really believe that you need this sometimes in your life. Because after chaos, then you have this uh, time where peace can come in and settle. And then there's change. And when you can go through that and learn about change and what change can do for you in your life, you understand that this, this system here, I got so excited about it, I realized that it can change people's lives. Not only do I want to do this system in downtown Hilo, but I also want to do it because I work with impoverished kids in Kau. I, li I work with a lot of kids down in Kau. They live in tents. They live inside of their tent is pallets, plywood, and their bed. And they, they try to survive just like anybody else. So what I did was I took the information and tried to share it. Some people are excited about it. Some people are confused about it. Some people don't understand it. Well, why you want to go into using so much water? Well, if you think about it, and you guys understand how this system works, you're going to be even more excited. After these four days are done, I hope that they say, probably out of all, maybe what, 30 of us here, Maybe only five or six of us here will actually do something with it. So I'm hoping that that grows and you guys get excited about it. Even if you don't do it, share the knowledge with somebody else that might be able to take off with this. The reason why I say this is because four months ago I was in a car accident and I had back surgery. I had a, uh, what do you call that, an anterior discectomy. You have to replace inside of my neck a disc and I, didn't, I couldn't move for four months paralyzed in the bed trying to my girlfriend's trying to help me out get here and there and I realized how important some of these things that we're going through so the most important thing that I, I believe out of everything before we do anything is prayer so I'm gonna I'm gonna share this song with you this was taught to me by my two-year-old nephew
Mahalo for letting me share this morning with you guys. And remember, take this information, it's very important. Even if you don't use it, you might be able to share with somebody else and they'll take it and run with it. And you're gonna go ahead and kick yourself. Gosh, I could have done it, but you can. But this information that you guys have, you guys can. So take it and hopefully we can utilize it and really, you know, Hawaii is the center right now of the world. People don't realize this. Their eyes are all on us. They, under, they don't understand. How can these people live on a small island and yet still get along? You know? And when the ships, I remember, you guys remember, uh, it was about a year and a half ago, Matson stopped shipping. I remember the big fights. Guys are down there fighting at Walmart over toilet paper. They say that we are nine days away from starva uh, from running out of food, not starvation, 22 days from starvation, but nine days away from running out of food. So this is really some important information that you guys have here. Take it and run with it and make it your own. And because of these two people and their vision that they've had to help and share people, we all get challenges in our life, yeah, everybody does. Once you be able to lock on to something and then bring people into this. This kind of event or these things is not something that one man or one person can do. This really is a hui. It's about pulling people together and you understand. And that way, that's kind of something that's been lost even in our own, in our own system today. Not too many people sit down and even have a meal with their families anymore. You know what I mean? So if you can take that, take the information, and remember, be humble humble about this because this information can can be a blessing or it can be a curse depending on how you take it so use it wisely mahalo mahalo kiakua for this day for blessing us for bringing us all here together we ask now that you bless each and every one of us and guide us through these classes guide us back and forth here to the classrooms and to the farm that you would be with each and every one of us and if we have troubles Please, in our minds, help us to keep calm so that we can be able to deal with things as they come along, piece by piece. We ask this in your name. Mahalo and amen. Amen. Mahalo.